Hey everybody, so today we will be installing a custom mesh sheet for the lower grill on our Toyota Tacoma. And we ordered this mesh sheet from customcargrills.com and you can check the description below for the link to their website. On their website you can order specific grills for various vehicles or you can order universal mesh sheets. And for us we needed a select size for this lower grill. So we went ahead and gave them a call and we were able to order the exact size mesh sheet we needed in the correct color and in the right style. And if you don't see exactly what you need on their website, you should go ahead and give them a call and they'll be able to hook you up with the right size sheet you need. So the first step in this entire project is to remove your front bumper. And you can check in the description below to see the link to the video on how to remove this bumper. With the bumper off the car, we're going to go ahead and tape up all of the red surfaces and we'll use some newspapers as well. That way when we're cutting, sanding, bondoing, and painting, we don't have to worry about damaging any of the red. So we'll go ahead and get that done. We just finished up the initial taping. This will protect it nicely when we're moving it around. And then with this initial taping, we also went in this edge right here. That way for paint, there won't be any overspray onto the actual bumper. For the next step, we will be cutting out this whole center section of the grill, the center pieces and all of these ones right here. And the tool we're using is an oscillating multi-tool with just an inch wide metal blade. And that works very, very nicely for this kind of project. So definitely use one of those oscillating tools and you'll be able to cut these out very easily. And we are time-lapsing this entire project with the GoPro. So be sure to check in the description of this video to see the entire time-lapse video. Now that we have this piece out, we're going to just set it aside for later because we're going to be using a few of these pieces to help us with the rest. And now what we need to do is go ahead and start sanding down all the places that we just cut to get them nice and smooth. That way we can bond with them and then everything will be uniform and very smooth. The best way to sand all these spots smooth is to use just a normal Dremel tool with a sanding bit on the end. And basically what I'm going to do is just sand it nicely and get it just below surface level. That way when we fill it with Bondo and sand it, It'll be perfectly uniform across the top. With everything now sanded with the Dremel tool, we're going to go ahead and use that piece that we cut out and just some cutters and basically cut out a bunch of inch by inch squares out of here. And those are going to be epoxied behind these right on the inside here. That way we can then bondo and fill that in nicely. With all these little pieces cut out, you can see the gap there and this will just be epoxied right on top of that. That way that whole crevice there will be filled in with bondo. And this is the epoxy that we're using, it's just some plastic weld and it seems to work pretty good on our other projects. So we'll go ahead and epoxy them and just tape them there to hold them and then we'll start bondoing. All these pieces are now epoxied on. You can see the gap that we'll be filling. So the first step for the Bondo, we're going to be using 80 grit sandpaper to roughen up all the edges. And then here's the actual Bondo that we're using. We picked this up from Advanced Auto. And we'll go ahead and do that. We finished up all the taping, getting it ready for the paint. But before we go ahead and paint it, we're going to test fit the rear mesh. We've test fitted the grill and we've cut it to the right size. So we'll go ahead and paint the bumper and then we'll show you how to attach the mesh. We're now done with all the paint. Came out very nicely and all our tape work did a good job. There's no overspray. So now it's time to adhere the mesh. For the actual adhering of this mesh, we're already doing a test right there. Basically what we're doing is cutting two pieces so we can actually bend it up like that. And then you can see how it sits flushly. And then we use silicone caulking along this whole ridge and we'll have several different pieces. And then that'll adhere the entire thing. We're working on the bending. I've got this one side done. And the easiest way to do this, we're just gonna put it in the vise. And we've already measured it and I know exactly where I need to bend it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the vise 
Tighten it a good amount, and then just place my palm really firm and just bend it at a 90 degree angle. And there you go, 90 degree bend. And now we'll basically do the same process for this whole side. So here's the final piece after all the bends and cuts. So to start off, I'm actually going to put a layer of caulking along the plastic. And then once the mesh is on, I'll do another bead of caulk on the top of the mesh. That way it kind of sandwiches the mesh in between. So this just nicely slides right on. And since there's the gap between the plastic and the mesh here, we're going to be leveling it on the, this side right here and the side. So this mesh will actually not touch the rim of the plastic here, but it will still be adhered with these pieces that are bent. Now everything is nice and caulked. And we'll just let that dry and then this is ready to go back on the truck. With all the caulking dried, you can see the final product now. Definitely came out very nicely. Now you can see the back side of it. Now we'll put the bumper back on the truck and show you how it looks. Now the lower grill is installed. Came out very good and it matches the upper grill nicely. So definitely check out customcargrills.com if you're going to do a custom grill on your vehicle. They'll definitely be able to help you out and get the exact piece of mesh that you need. So thank you all for watching and please be sure to subscribe to our channel.